Our story begins high in the night sky above Mouseville, where Mighty Mouse cruises on patrol, ever alert for the first sound of trouble. There it is! Yowling cats! There can be no mistake about it! Somewhere mice are in terrible trouble! Here I come to save the day! Oh, what a mouse! <laughs> Just look at that mouse! Nothing can stop him! <laughs> yes, it's yet another triumph for Mighty Mouse! No oppressed mice? No hapless mice? No mice at all? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> just, just me. <laughs> just you? Who are you? <laughs> I'm Durf. No, nobody likes me. Nobody? Not even the other cats? No, they say I ain't too bright. <laughs> and then they laugh at me. Say, is there something wrong? Y yeah, I c c got a th thorn in my paw. Don't worry, big fella. I can handle that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, pal. Thanks a lot. No one's ever pulled a thorn out of my paw like you pulled it. You will be my bosom bud for life and forever. Oh, how happy, how happy we will be because we are such good friends. Easy, big fella. I'm grateful for your gratitude. But a new day is dawning, and a hero's work is never done. Wow, what a guy, what a guy. My pal, my buddy, my hero. What's this? Our hero is changing back into his secret identity, Mike Mouse. <laughs> Is it something I ate? Uh... Hiya, little buddy. What are you doing here? Uh, you saved my paw, little buddy. You made my ouch go away. But that was in Cat Town. This is Mouseville. You'll never be accepted here. But, but, you're my pal. <laughs> All right, go on. Get out of here. Go home. Scat. Chew. Uh, all right. Come on, big fella. We're late for work. Oh, hoy, oh, hoy, oh, hoy! My buddy, my pal, my hero! We are going to be good friends, you and I, because we are such good pals! <clears throat> All right, crew. Another day, another discharge of duties demanded. And let's take delight in it, shall we? Just remember, we have schedules to meet, quotas to fill, and productivity to produce. I know you'll all do your best as usual. And, as usual, feel free to do even better.
Something tells me it's going to be one of those days. Hungry, big fella? Limburger. Great, isn't it? You know, I've been thinking about what you said, how nobody likes you and not even other cats. I just can't figure it out, Durf. It's a real stumper. As far as I'm concerned, you're not such a bad guy. As far as cats go, anyway. Oh, <laughs> you don't know how much that means to me, little buddy. I'm beside myself with joy. <laughs> you, you, you're the best power guy I've ever had. Oh, well, time to hit the sack. <sighs> Buddy, good night. Durf even began to affect Mike's social life. Don't worry, little buddy. We can handle it. A cat with my mouse. Yes, they make quite a pair, don't they, folks? Indeed, their friendship is difficult to ignore. Soon, Mouse Mill and Cat Town alike are about with the awful truth. Cat seen with Mouse! I really hate to do it, Mike, but your new friend is simply exerting too much of a negative influence on the other workers. Pearl, you mean? Yes, Mike. These are your marching papers. Oh, well, it, it could be worse, Durf. At least we still have our home. Evicted? Oh, how the mighty has fallen, with his new friend right behind him. But can this really be their final fate? Is this what they get for breaking society's harsh and petty rules? Is this their reward for simply trying to cultivate a true and steadfast friendship? I guess it is. Comfy little buddy. Never more so, Durf, big fella. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> Hold on, little buddy. This one's on me. Ah, here I come to save the day. Come on, come on, put him up, let's go, come on, I'll take on you and your mother too. Come on, put him up, put him up. <laughs> my mitt! <laughs> I got a cactus in my mitt! Uh, I know what to do! Oh, what a 
guy, what a guy! Oh, my pal, my buddy, my hero! <laughs> oh, wait up, little buddy! I'm gonna be a pal now! We could go fishing, we could chase cats together! Uh, I mean, we could hang out together! I'll even introduce you to my mother! It'll be great, little buddy, you'll see! He sure saved our fur! Yeah, and who would have suspected Durf was a real live superhero? He was just pretending to be a Shlemiel so as he could protect his secret identity. Ah, uh, I always said he was a good egg. You! Ah, yes, the end of a perfect day, when after colossal effort and heroic deeds, even a super mouse must have a super sleep and super dreams. Mr. Trouble never hangs around when he hears this mighty sound. Here I come to save the day. That means the mighty mouse is on the way. Yes, sir, when there's a wrong to right, mighty mouse will join the... Oh. Hey, watch where you're sitting. Shh! I've got a splitting headache! <laughs> and just listen to this stomach. Wow. And my eyes! I don't even want to talk about my eyes! Gee, it sounds like you're sick. Yes! Tooth fairy! Tooth fairies can't afford to be sick! I have to go to one more house tonight! What? You? Ah! You're the tooth fairy? <laughs> the person who sneaks in the kids' rooms and gives them dollars for their teeth? That's you? Ah! Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Gee, hey, look, why don't you get some rest? Give me the dollar and I'll get your last tooth for you. Gee! I know a dollar is a lot of money, but I guess this is something extra special. You? Y you would do that for me? You... you wouldn't mind? Oh! My eyes thank you, my head thanks you, and my stomach thanks you. Here's everything you need. You sure everything's okay? Well, I've heard of keeping up with the news, but this is ridiculous. Now, how do I find number 10? Hey, that's it, number 10. Hmm, pretty big kid. Beak warmer for a 10-foot canary? Where's the tooth? Oh, here it is. Come on, kid. Don't you want your dollar? Here's your your dollar. Dollar. Dollar! I'll show you a dollar! Look! Mine are all cats! You know something? I don't think that was a little kid. I think that was a witch! <laughs> witch? Why? You know, I might just be a witch. Of course I'm a witch, you twit! Now, how's about a drink, huh? How's about let's warm it all up, huh? Yes. Oh, oh, yes. That's delightful, but, but I'm afraid I can't stay. I'll just have to... Ah! Fancy <laughs> meeting you and me! <laughs> I gotta 
find another exit. Egg pit? What's that? Well, let's see. It's a pit full of eggs, I guess. Who said that? Shh! Did you hear that? Somebody's in the room. Well, I don't see anybody. <laughs> Whoever you are, what kind of clothing are you? I'm not clothes. I'm scrappy. Skimpy? Sounds like a polyester blend. What? Wah? What's a wah? Maybe he's a scarf. What do you mean, scarf? I said I'm scrappy. I'm scarfy. scrappy. Here we go again. He can't make up his mind. Disorganized thinking. You'll never find your egg pit that way. Stop! Look, we gotta get out of here before the witch comes. Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm not going to hurry just because some stupid... Witch! <laughs> we gotta get out of here before the witch comes. Well, maybe I can help you on your way. There must be something I can do out here. Oh, Baxi finally let me get a nap in. Oh. It must have let the spigots run. Beat me! 
me, Mighty Mouse? I use magic, and your powers are powerless against magic. Why are you doing this? That brat stole my tooth! Is that all? tooth, but from now on, you'll have to do your own job. Thanks, kid. But now my job is done. By the way, how do you like my new clothes? Huh? 